Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas call me slipping was okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us All right, y'all, so let's get into it. So first things first, this is the Medieval Torture Museum located in downtown Chicago, right in the loop at 177 North State Street. I was invited here by Anastasia, who was one of the managers. She seemed super nice. And also, we were greeted at the door by Alex, who was the hostess. She also was super nice, very informative, and really set the tone for what we could expect at this museum. Now, I've never been to a museum quite like this, but I did have a good time. All right, y'all. So one of my favorite exhibits at the museum was the mockery of the hands. And it was given every bit of Saw 5, 6, and 7. I don't know if it's a 7, but it was given Saw 7. Um, but anyway, you know, back in the medieval times, like if you stole or did something, they would cut your fingers off. They would break your fingers, put like a nail through your palm. And then, oh my God, y'all, this one, your fingernails, they would tear your fingernails off. Y'all, let me tell you something. That is so fucking cringe. Excuse my language language but like tearing somebody's fingernails off is od torture um and then that one is they put a file up someone's hand like who does that ah! speaking of movies this museum reminded me of this exhibit was all hostile y'all remember the movie hostile where they were like kidnapping americans in paris and they were like selling them to the highest bidder to torture them yeah that's what this was given they actually probably got some of this stuff from a lot of movies from what they actually used to do to people in real life um here i'm just really like getting into the artwork like these wax figures and the costumage are a1 at the media at the medieval torture museum uh the wigs not so much is definitely given synthetic okay I, I see the color the color could be good but you need a little condition but you know we ain't gonna have remy on wax figures at the museum but you know that's neither here nor there <laughs> anyway that exhibit was called the torturing table and it just is like they were having all types of cutlery on on people's backs and i ain't talking about forks and spoons now this next one y'all this heretics forks or heroic heteroics i don't know look heretics i think it's heretics i don't know about the pronunciation but listen i am a halloween baby so i'm into all of this like gore and scary stuff like it's my favorite i love horror movies but this one right here had me shook y'all like can you imagine they put this little contraption around your neck and then you gotta hold your head back and then you try to hold your head down and it go through your throat Oof. Okay, so I don't know why they did this to my great, 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 great auntie, but apparently she was in people's business and she was doing too much talking. Uh, this is the violin of gossipers, and back in the day, if you was in people's business and running your mouth, they was gonna put this little contraption around your wrist, around your other wrist, and around your neck. Yeah, your neck. And you gonna sit there looking stupid in that stupid position because you've been in people's business. Now, this table was like variations of that, but basically, back in the day, it wasn't cool to be in people business just like it ain't cool to be in people business in 2022. But, you know, y'all still do that anyway. But that's another story. Let's move on. Okay, so this one, we got to talk about it. At first, I was like, oh, this looks like fun. Why is this a torture? Like, what's, what's the problem? It look a little kinky. I don't know. But, y'all, I have to really look at it. Like, imagine sitting on this little triangle where, like, the pointy part of the triangle is in your genitals. And then they put these heavy-ass weights on your ankle. Like, oh, first of all, it would, be, it would be bad for a woman, but it would be terrible for a man. Like, I can't even imagine the torture, but I guess that's what it was made for. It's made to torture. I just, this is my whole thing, y'all. Who came up with this shit? It's a horse. Who said, let's take something that's supposed to be, like, positive and fun and make it into torture? I just don't get it. So, what would a medieval torture museum be without, yes, chastity belts and fidelity belts? Oh, yes. It wasn't just the women that had to wear chastity belts. Men had to wear fidelity belts. Because you're not going to be out here thinking you're going to be living your best life. Not on my watch. Not on my time. <laughs> so, 
it wasn't just for the women the the, the guys had to have them on too and let me tell y'all this wall these chastity and fidelity belts looked hella crazy this one has spikes on it like oh yeah you ain't getting close ain't none of that and this one oh yeah don't even think about getting aroused go ahead and put this on and if you get aroused you're just gonna hurt yourself so this whole wall was crazy like for real for real all right, y'all, so I can give y'all all the sauce and show y'all every single exhibit. So I'm gonna just end with this one. This is one of my favorites. It's the Colombian necktie, also known as the Brazilian necktie, the Cuban necktie, the Mexican necktie, the Beijing necktie. <laughs> Basically, any type of cartel, pick your favorite torture technique. This one is the Colombian necktie, hence the mannequin is dressed like Tony Montana, okay? I love how the attention to detail they have his eyes bulging. And then look at the tongue, y'all. The tongue is drooling. Look at the drool on the suit. They did such a good job with attention to detail. Let's uh, let's get the shoes. Got to get those. Okay, white socks. Cool. Um, but yeah, this was um, one of the last ones that I looked at and one of my favorites. All right, y'all. So this is the gift shop. You'll see this on your way in and on your way out. I want to give a huge thank you to Anastasia and Paula, the managers, and also Alex, who was the hostess. She hooked me up with a free t-shirt and a bag of goodies, and I was loving it. Look at this gift shop, y'all. They even got flask, okay, if you want to put your Don Julio in it in case you want to get turned. I don't know. You could do that. They got snow globes and mugs and the little goblets, like keychains, you know, full fully stocked gift shop they also got this thing i know what it was and then they got this y'all yeah whips and paddles it turned from the medieval torture museum to the medieval pleasure museum because where y'all going with these whips um I, of course i had to pick it up i just wanted to see how heavy it was it wasn't that heavy though it was like <laughs> right, so i just want to say a quick thank you to the chicago medieval museum for uh sending me on this tour Great time, y'all. The birds is going crazy. <laughs> we ain't gonna edit that out. We gonna leave the pictures in there. Uh, but we had a great time. Um, they're very hospitable. I got a free T-shirt and some goodies in the back. If you guys are ever in Chicago downtown Loop area, right next to the Chicago Theater, right next to the Chicago Theater at 177 North State Street here 